Hi, and welcome to 4-Minute Answers, the place to get quick answers to your important questions. In this video, we'll show you how you can approach organizing your Notion just for you. Now, Notion is a powerful organization tool that we use to organize our work and life, and we have a series of quick Notion videos designed to take you from novice to pro. So, so subscribe to 4-Minute Answers, and when you do, leave a comment below that says you're a new subscriber, and we'll say hi. So let's get to it. Well, if you're relatively new to Notion, or even if you've been using it a while, it's easy to have it feel a bit overwhelming. After all, it's easy for it, it to become complex, and before you know it, you have a lot of pages, but it's tough finding exactly what you need. This is where a little planning comes in, and I'll give you a quick method of organizing your Notion just for you. And the best way to do this is not on your computer, but old-fashioned pen and paper. Now, at the end of this video, I'll show you how I organize my Notion. And a little warning, while these videos are usually four minutes or less, because this video's topic is very important, we may go a little longer than normal. First, on your piece of paper, I want you to write down what you're using Notion for. I'm gonna call this column Spheres. The sphere of life that you're planning to use Notion. Now, for most of us, we have work, we have personal, and maybe we have a side hustle. Some of us may also have be a student, and so that would be another sphere of our life. You may have more than one uh, other one that you would want to add to this as well. Let's not make these too narrow. Let's make them big, broad categories of our lives and uh, we are going to use Notion for all of these. I do suggest you use Notion not only for your work, but you also for personal, for side hustle, for anything that you want to keep track of, right? And so the areas that you want to keep track of, the areas that you want to organize, we're going to call these categories. And this is anything that is important to you, that you want to remember, that you want to, to, to track and store and somehow organize. Now, these can be anything that, that you want, and I'll come up with a, a few categories here, but I want you to take a few minutes and think about in your area of work or in your area of personal, your area of side hustle, what are, the, what are the types of things that I wanna make sure I keep track of? Now, here are some examples. Action items or a task list. Ideas, like we've done the ideas to consider in uh, earlier videos. Uh, maybe we want to keep track of travel. So both travel that we're planning as well as travel that are, we're doing or currently on, boarding passes and things like that. Uh, maybe we want to keep a reading list here of books we want to read or have read or a movie list of movies that we uh, want to see. Um, maybe we want to have projects or we want to keep track of our goals. Now, these can go on and on and on. And in fact, I have 11 of these categories. Now, once you do this, you actually have, and you may not know it, you actually have a picture of how you're going to organize Notion to work for you. Because everything that is in this categories list is going to become one database each. One database for action items, one database for ideas, one database for travel. And then everything in this spheres category is going to be a thing that we're going to end up creating called dashboards. Just a quick picture where you can go and see everything as it pertains to work or everything that pertains to your personal life that's in Notion, everything that pertains to your side hustle. So we've got dashboards and categories. Now, what we're going to end up doing as we move forward in these videos is we're going to build out these databases. Now, if you've been watching us, uh, you know that we've already built out the Ideas to Consider database, and I can put a link in the description below that will point you back to the video where we do that, where you can build an Ideas database. Um, but creating new databases is very similar, and we will go through and build several of these databases so that you can see how, it's, see how it works. And then we will be uh, building dashboards so that you can see how to organize this uh, so that it works well for you. Well, as promised, I wanted to show you the structure that I use on my Notion. Now I have 
three dashboards, work, personal, and side hustles. I'm not a student, so I don't need student, but everything I have in Notion is organized around those three spheres. And then I have 11 databases. I have action items, goals, projects, people, ideas, travel, media, content, food and restaurants, health, and recreation. And one of the things that I did as I was creating these databases or creating my list of databases, even before I started to build the databases, was I wrote them down and then I tried to make sure that each database was connected to at least one, if not two or three of my dashboard spheres. It doesn't make any sense to store and keep information that you're really not planning to use. So uh, as you're coming up with ideas of, of uh, categories or databases, you wanna make sure that they connect to at least one of those spheres of life. So now you have your beginning framework for organizing Notion so that it works for you. And the good news is that once you set it up and work with it for some time, it's easy to add categories or databases. It's easy to add spheres or dashboards. And it's also easy to make tweaks to your setup to make it even more efficient for you. If you have questions or comments about this or any other aspect of Notion, add it in the comments below and be sure to check out our other four minute answer videos to help you become a Notion Pro quickly. Thanks, and we'll see you soon.